In times like these, people need clear and honest information about handling their finances. A changing time and economy requires new methods and strategies for the common person. That's where I come in. All right, 724 right now, financial strategist Matthew Sapala is here to get us caught up on what's going on with the economy and to give us five steps if you're fiscally fearful. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. Instead of waiting for what president will be elected, what the mayor, what the alderman can do, we can stop sitting on our assets, so to speak, and create our own stimulus package. One big pet peeve for me is receiving that large tax refund at the end of the year. That's, in essence, an overpayment of taxes. You see, what we can do is adjust our withholdings with our HR department to increase our take-home pay and redirect those savings into our, redirect the difference into our own savings and investments. I bring over a decade of experience in giving people the tools and ideas they need to make their money work for them. There's good debt and there's bad debt. Don't be so fast to pay off that mortgage. Don't be so fast to pay off that college loan. College loan. Why? Because that's the loan that's the cheapest to borrow from the bank and the one that Uncle Sam allows you tax deduct. What you need to do is concentrate on getting rid of that car loan, getting rid of that credit card, getting rid of that flat screen TV that you got to pay back in 90 days. Get rid of that debt and concentrate on eliminating, eliminating that. Otherwise, you freeze up money and you can save that in other things that allow you to maintain liquidity and control. As a contributing financial editor for Indigo Newspaper, a talk show host of Money Smart Radio, and a highly sought out after guest on both local and national TV outlets, I address financial needs from every angle and teach people how to save, manage, and make the most of their money the right way. Here to offer some sound advice, financial strategist and host of the Chicago-based radio show, Living the American Dream. It's Matthew, Matthew Zapala. Zapala. Our first question is uh, from a woman wondering what debt to pay first. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Jenna, and I have a question. I'm in a lot of debt, and I was wondering if I should pay off my highest interest rate debts first or my smaller debts first. First of all, she needs to isolate that highest interest credit card. Put that, that's going to be her target. Every other credit card that she's paying, minimize it to what she's paying to the other credit cards and redirect that to the highest interest credit card and snowball and attack that. That's going to be laser focused. Get rid of that debt, so then snowball downward. I invested a lot of money in real estate last year and lost money. Mm. Should I remortgage my home to pay off the debt? Quick answer, no, no, no. Never mortgage your house and risk the equity in your house to make up for other debt. You only borrow, you only borrow to save money, never, never to consume. I am the president of Matthew Sapal Incorporated, a financial services firm that specializes in retirement income planning, college funding, and real estate equity management. Here, I lead a network of experts that assist people with developing wealth building strategies to secure their future. New safe money, if you're afraid of the stock market right now, fleet of life insurance, is real estate safe? What's a, what's a good bet safe? A lot of people don't understand the safety of the life insurance industry. Right now, people today don't understand that life insurance companies are experts at managing risk. The exposure to mortgage-backed securities, uh, this mortgage meltdown, is only one half of a percent. So many people don't understand that fixed and index life insurance policies, fixed and index annuities, a lot of people haven't even felt a bump in the road. Over, our, over the last three months, three weeks, three years, none of our clients have called our office frantic about what's going on in the economy. So that's annuities. That's pretty safe and guaranteed, right? Fixed That's and indexed. Not fixed and indexed. The truth of the matter is, people get enough jaded information about managing money. But what they really need is useful information. Allow me, Matthew Sapala, to provide a new perspective to your next speaking engagement, financial workshop, or on-air money segment.